Okay, uh, this, as you can see, is Wolf. I'm just going to try to turn the sound down, it makes no difference. So, uh, I'm playing it with wine. Uh, as you can see, already there are some issues. I can't set the volume in the sound. It's hard to say whether that's a wine issue or whether there is actually an issue in the game. Because there are a few uh, well issues with it. Um, but uh, the reason I'm playing it or I'm doing a video on it is because it's actually fairly interesting for several other reasons. Uh, but we'll start with the uh, we'll start with the gameplay. I'm going to go to the start again, so you get the story. Anyway, anyway, I don't spoil the later bits for you. So visually, it's a really, it's a really lovely looking game. Uh, it's this sort of a steampunk Victorian fairy tale setting, and uh, it's fairy tale in the uh, the traditional sense, not the Disney sense. You know, the fairy tales had a lot of blood and death in them. My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father, no mother, no fear. An itching urge for vengeance is what brought me here. My father died in a work accident four years ago today. Well, I don't believe in accidents. I believe someone should pay. I came back to the city in search of answers and for the man who ruined my life. B.B. Wolf. So, in case you doubt it, this is no fairy tale, because there is nothing fair about it. So, that's the setting. You're the orphan uh, Red Riding Hood, out to avenge the death of her father. I arrived 14 days ago and sought a place to hide. An old woman rented me this dusty attic, and since I must lay low, I left my room only at night. And so there is a load of voice acting. The control is with the arrow keys, not WASD, because he, he will find that um, uh, A, S and D get used for combat later on. I like the fact that the mirror actually works, which is very nice. We'll use I had the desk. set foot in Ulrica since I was about eight years old. I heard about its downfall from the papers father brought home and the stories he then told. Though we lived in the forest, father came to work here every single day and witnessed this once blooming city wilt and fade away. So already unlocked news articles so that's referring to um, let me just go into here there's various unlockable things I think that was the news articles once so you discover stuff through the levels and you see I've missed I've missed a few things as I went along which you know obviously you can replay and come back but some of them provide quite interesting. Um, so some of them are story add-ins. Some of them are. Uh, let's see if I can find one. There we go. Some of them are, are actual discussions of you know the history of the Red Riding Hood myth and, and things like that, uh, which which are quite interesting in their own right. Let's resume the game. No, I can't remember. Was there anything else to unlock here? Yes, let's have a look. Today is a big day, for after two weeks of exploration, I'm off to break into the city archives and retrieve some information. I'm not after a bloodbath. I want justice. So fingers crossed I get there without getting noticed. So there we go. That was the map. I don't think there's anything else. There are... 
you know, obviously I've not found all these things. Granny hugged me goodbye with tears in her eyes. She handed me a basket filled with food. I promised to come back soon with answers and with BB Wolf's blood on my hood. And oh yeah, so we discovered everything so the door opens, clearly. So there is voice acting throughout. Here we are. Here we are in the outside environment. Which as you can see is it is nice. Very pretty. Uh, it is essentially this place has changed. a two and a half D platform. The cleared the streets and drapes went down along with the sun. Bibi Wolf's iron fist was like a punch to Ulrika's face, bruising the memory of his late father's reign and the city's glory days. Uh, and really, it's a space bar to jump. Let's have a look and see what's up here though. It's a 3D environment, although the platforming is, is essentially 2D. It's like that. And the platforming isn't perfect. It's quite annoying at times. There are various insta-death... Oh, there's a health bar at the top there. There are various insta-death aspects of the platforming. Um, and it's also left out, there we go, also quite hard to control the keyboard I find, but I guess if you've got a um, no left shift, if, if you've got your controller set up with wine, then I'm sure it'll be much better. The only faces in Ulrika today are the ones on these posters. Hundreds of girls gone missing. Hundreds of families cut apart. Now, that was a switch. I'm not sure what it will, what it will open up. Let's see, what, let's see again what happens. Unlock anything. So some of the times that, that sort of thing will unlock areas, other times it won't. I think in this situation we just need to go quick. Oopsie. Or I need to double jump. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh come on! That's not very pedestrian friendly. So here we have some strange, strange traps. I'm assuming if I go over them I'll die, but I've managed to avoid them the first time I did it. Oh yes, oh, I didn't die. Interesting. Just health. Now I've got it on easy. Over time, tin replaced flesh and blood. In the factory as well as in the streets, driving families into poverty and honest men to dishonest deeds. So, we've more or less discussed the game All at this point. All this tree climbing as a kid finally paid off. So let's, let's start talking about the... Uh, more interesting aspects of all this. Now, this game was produced by a, uh, a development studio, an independent development studio, that had been established for some years. Okay, so you guys keep on doing that and pretend I'm not here. Uh, they'd only done mobile games, as I recall, the story, and uh, this is a sort of passion project for them. They got some funding from the government, 
Oh no, let's go up there. They got some funding from the government, which was enough for them to do a prototype. And clearly, the, you know, there are high production values at work here. So, uh, what a ghost town this has become. So, with their ambition, probably need a, a fair amount of money. That's the first. I don't even know if that's the first, I think that's just the first mini map completed. So anyway, yes, they produce a prototype. The prototype garnered a lot of interest because, you know, it does look fantastic. And uh, if you want if you want your prototype to do something, it's the looked great. The behind my father's death was buried along with his body. Lips were sealed and the case was closed, but not for me. I had already lost a parent. This simply couldn't be. For weeks I cried, for months I couldn't speak. Until finally, I was done feeling so broken and weak. I asked Granny to teach me how to hunt and how to fight. Now, at last, I'm ready to make things right. So the voiceovers are, there's a lot of uh, rhyming going on. Uh, some of the reviews point out that the rhyming isn't consistent. In that later on in the story there isn't rhyming which is a bit weird so so some people found it more distracting than um more distracting than they found it uh, charming in the end you also so Yes, back to the story of the uh, of the developer. So they've done the prototype. Uh, let's see, we want to get across here. Yes. Uh, so they've done the prototype, and then they wanted to uh, oh, invisible wall. They wanted to develop into a full game. There we go. Let's turn the watermelon on. Let's flick switch, see what that does. There we go. At least Wolf was kind enough to install a cable ride across the river. Kudos. And the Kickstarter was successful. Uh, how do I get up there? That's the next question. Oh, there we go. Oh, my biceps are going to be sore tomorrow. The Kickstarter was successful. Which, you know, if you're familiar with Kickstarter, actually fairly rare uh, these days. They were successful. Uh, they got uh, 70000 just over $70,000 in funding. I don't know if they made any stretch goals. I couldn't I couldn't figure that out from the, the way Kickstarter is now. Uh, but yes, yeah, so they got, they got $70,000 you may be looking at this game thinking, "Don't mind me, guys." Would seventy thousand dollars be enough for a uh, full-on, a full-on two and a half D platforming extravaganza? And possibly, you'd be correct because, from all accounts, the game is fairly short. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. Ooh. The city archives, where the investigation of father's death was put to rest. I must get inside. Yeah, 
No way I can sneak past those bastards. So the game is, I, I think. Back in boxes where you belong. Six to eight hours long. Now it is, it is a full price game. Well, I'll say full price. It's not AA price. It's a full price indie game. It's, I think it was like a, a tenner. So it's not a totally unreasonable price. I wouldn't say ten pounds for a six to eight hour game. Fell over there, and it does look fantastic. The gameplay is a little repetitive. The combat, we get an axe in a bit. I think we're getting it now. In fact, so the combat. These piles of paper covered with dust and lies might just contain a clue to help me uncover the truth. Suspect in the disappearance of Ulrika's women, and my father's death as well? Who is this creature from hell? An ugly face, hiding ugly secrets. And an even uglier contractor, so it seems. Looks like the sewer is my next stop. Well, I'm ready to crack open this can of worms. Now, how about a tin opener? <laughs> even better. Let's go find that filthy rat. So there we go. Looking badass with an axe. So yes. Definitely a flawed game. Uh, whether the budget was enough to really do justice to the vision they had. That's, that's sort of the question here. And, uh, you, you know, in the context of Kickstarter in general... There's an incentive to set an achievable goal, but if the goal that you achieve isn't actually enough to produce the game you want, then what should you do? Should you should you cut back your uh, cut back your cut back your you know reduce. Should you scale back your ambition, basically? So the reason this is significant in this case is that the game the game was launched. It got fairly mixed reviews. Like I think it's on Steam. On Steam, it's about 50%, just over, uh, favourable. Oh, not Steam, sorry, Metacritic. It, it was just over 50. On Steam, it's... I don't know, low 70s, something like that. But obviously, indie games, they don't have a big a big marketing budget. They sort of live and die by these reviews. And especially when it's a... a you know, um, a more expensive indie game. Into the series we go. You're going to need to get good reviews early on. Now, there was a patch which fixed some of the issues, but I think the main issue against it is the gameplay by itself doesn't match up to the quality of the visuals. Um, that's, that's all by the by. I think I'll have a look on Steam Spy, and it seems like they sold around 35,000. Mary sat beside copies. me in third grade. Her hair was fair, her skin so bright. Her mind, not so much. She copied my homework. I ate her lunch. One day, Mary's mother sat in the principal's office crying. We instantly knew, yet another girl missing. Yet another mystery in tomorrow's paper. Her seat remained empty, as did mine the following day. For father and granny agreed, the city was no longer a safe place for me to stay. So... There you'll notice some of it rhymed and some of it doesn't. It wasn't exactly clear. Uh, now we're in a second environment underground, which again is quite gorgeous to look at. So yeah, the, 
as I was saying, they sold about 30,000. There's about 35,000. Well, this is a part of town I've never been before. Wouldn't recommend it to visitors. That's mm. for sure. Home to rats and bats, and to that musical piece of kidnapper scum. I can't wait to break his flute and make that bastard forever mute. Back to the rhyming. Yes, there's 30, 35,000 users on Steam, something like that. So if you consider there the were 2,500 Kickstarter backers, there's going to be a bunch of people you like me. With that other rat. The one with the flute, right? A bunch of people like me who've picked it up in bundles for considerably less than a tenner. Uh, Considerably less than a tenner, yes, that's true. And uh, so the total income from the game got to be, you know, quarter of a million, quarter of a million pounds maybe. Uh, so it turns out that so you do get stuck on like walls unexpectedly quite a lot. Oh, I was supposed to do something down there, wasn't I? Yeah, there we go. With the result that in August, there we go, uh, the developer, having been silent for several months, much to the consternation of the backers, this does happen a lot when things are going wrong, lack of communication is nearly always a bad sign. Believe uh, it or not, normally I love all animals. And now it's still going bankrupt. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, things he said was uh, they they even had most of the physical Kickstarter rewards uh, in the office, but they didn't even have the money to post them out. Um, the, the IP is up for sale, all the assets and rights. So they're hoping that... They're hoping that someone will buy up the game. I have no idea how that's... I have no idea how you find out if that is actually working or not. So it turns out that even though they got enough game to more or less get the game enough enough funding to get the game finished or at least released they didn't make enough on the game to actually keep going and haven't been able to uh, uh, wrap it. pay more attention there we go I haven't even been able to fill the Kickstarter rewards, not because I haven't made the stuff, because I can't afford to post it out. So I think this this is actually all fairly interesting in the context of uh, Kickstarter. <coughs> Lovely odor. I wish I'd left my nose at home today. And the, It. Ah, there we go. With the annoying controls. Uh, double jump. No, double jump didn't work. Do I need to double jump and press? Why am I not getting onto that thing? So this is where you get to the, the more annoying... Why can't I jump onto that? Why can I not jump onto it? Maybe I need to be over here. Oh, there we go. I'm on. Mysterious. You've not got to ask yourself just will they make their goal. You've got to ask yourself. From hell could live in this kind of smell. And I thought I had a crappy place. Is that goal enough? I'm running out of patience. Time to show your face. 
is that goal enough to not only make the game but uh, have a sustainable thing going forward in, in the case of a game where you're expecting support for at least you know a couple of years and fixing bugs and stuff so anyway that's the game it's wolf I'm running it with wine uh, you need to have dotnet 4 installs to get the launcher to run or or you know the Microsoft.NET 4 run sort of Orion tricks. I also needed to disable DirectX 11 to get it to work. Ow, ow! Uh, holding my own feet to the fire wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Boom. You can see it's the puzzles are, are sort of <laughs> they're all right. I mean, basically you figure them out. You die far more often because you've jumped and it just doesn't seem to land on where you're aiming for and stuff than, than because you uh, messed the puzzles up. Um, yeah, so .NET 4, disable DirectX 11. Again, I don't know why I didn't land on that thing. I'm back here. So this is one of the more annoying parts of the game. Is the mysterious, the mysterious re checkpointing. I think maybe I've done it the wrong order. Anyway, I'm not going to redo that bit now. I'm going to uh, wrap up the video here. It's a game that's interesting for many reasons. Um, most of them not gameplay related. It does look gorgeous. Uh, I recommend if you see it in a bundle. I think I got this on Indigala maybe, or perhaps Bundle Stars. Uh, so the net cost to me was less than a pound. It's it's worth buying at that price. Just check it out and, and uh, you know contemplate the nature of crowdfunding and all that sort of thing. It is very pretty. See, it works with wine. So if you've got your controller working. I think it probably would be uh, slightly easier. But yeah, Wolf. Uh, check it out.